God speaks all the time. We can hear Him if we try. Are you listening? Oh, are you listening? God leads every day. He doesn't stop or change. Will you follow? Oh, will you follow? There's a start and finish line. I'm going.
Good morning, Project Kids. It's so good to be here with you again on Project Kids Online. But before we get started with our lesson, you know that we need to practice our memory verse. So if you are ready, I want you to show me by standing up straight and tall with your hands by your sides. Now repeat after me. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Hebrews 11.1. 1. Great job, everybody. Kiss your brain. We can find this week's story in this book. Do you know what it's called? That's right. This is the Bible. And the Bible is the word of God. And if the Bible's the word of God, then that means we can believe every story is true. You've got it. We can find today's story in the book of Daniel, which is in the Old Testament. But before we get started, I want you to help me figure something out. I have some pictures to show you, and I want you to tell me if those things are hot or cold. Do you think that you can help me? Let's take a look.
Way to go, everybody. Today, we're going to learn about three friends who had to go somewhere that was super duper hot. In fact, it was a furnace full of fire. But first, I wanna tell you how they got there. These three friends had names that were different and kind of fun to say. They were called Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Do you have any friends with one of those names? I sure don't. Can you repeat those names after me? Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego loved God. They knew that he was the king of everything and he was the only one that people should worship. What is worship? Sometimes we worship by singing or we can worship by praying. Most of all, worship means giving all of your love and all of your trust to God. Here's the bad thing. There was a mean king named Nebuchadnezzar. He created a giant golden statue and he made a rule that everyone had to bow down and worship it when they heard the sound of music. What? Is God a big gold statue? No, God is the king and creator of everything, not something that people can build. When Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego heard about this rule, they weren't happy. They knew that it was wrong to worship anyone or anything that was not God. Every time they heard the music, everyone around them bowed down and worshiped the statue. Have you ever had someone ask you to do something you knew was wrong? Sometimes it's hard to do the right thing, especially if you see everyone else doing the wrong thing. Those three friends trusted God and they refused to bow down to the statue. That made the king very angry and he decided to throw them into a furnace full of fire. Ouch! How would you feel if you were one of those friends? Let's take a look at the video and see what happened next. Sometime after Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego began to serve in the court of King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon, the king had a golden statue of himself made. The massive 90-foot tall statue stood as a monument to Nebuchadnezzar's power and greatness. The king ordered all the leaders of Babylon to come together for the dedication of the enormous idol. On the day of the dedication ceremony, all the leaders of Babylon gathered by the golden statue of King Nebuchadnezzar. A herald announced to the crowd that they were to bow down and worship the statue when the music began. Anyone who did not do as commanded would be thrown into a furnace of fire. So when the sound of music from the trumpets, harps, flutes, bagpipes, and all sorts of instruments was heard, everyone bowed down before the statue. Everyone, that is except for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. A group of the king's advisors noticed that these three young Jewish men did not bow down and worship the statue. Jealous of the power the king had bestowed on these exiles from Jerusalem, the advisors went to the king to tell him of the men's disobedience. When King Nebuchadnezzar heard that they refused to bow to the statue, he became furious. In a rage, he had Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego brought to him to answer for their disobedience. He told them that if they continued to refuse to bow down and worship the statue, he would have them thrown into the furnace of fire. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego held to their faith. They told the king, the God we serve will deliver us from the fiery furnace. King Nebuchadnezzar had heard enough. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times hotter than normal. His soldiers tied up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and led them to the furnace. As the doors of the furnace were opened and Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were thrown in, the heat and flames overpowered the soldiers and they died on the spot. King Nebuchadnezzar looked into the furnace, and to his amazement, he saw that the three young men were unharmed. Then the king noticed something even more amazing. In disbelief, he asked his advisors to confirm that there were supposed to be only three people in the fire. After his advisors agreed with him, the king said, 
I see four men walking unhurt and unbound in the fire. And one of them looks like the Son of God. Nebuchadnezzar called for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to come out of the fire. He was so in awe of what he had seen, he praised the God of the three young men and declared that anyone who spoke against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego would be killed. The king said, There is no other God who is able to rescue in this way. Then the king promoted the three young men to high positions in his kingdom. Let's see if you were paying attention. I'm going to ask you a question, and if you know the answer, I want you to say it out loud. What was the rule that the king gave the people? He wanted them to bow down and worship a statue. That's right. Question number two. How many people did the king see in the fire? He saw four people, but he only sent three in. Question number three. God protected the three men in the fire. Does he protect us too? Yes, absolutely. God protects us all the time. Even when they were faced with a burning fire, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego knew that God was the only one who deserved to be worshiped. They trusted God and he protected them. God will do the same for you and for me today. When you're afraid or you don't know what to do, talk to God. He hears you and he wants to help you. God has always wanted to rescue us. That's why he sent Jesus. The Bible says that all of us are sinners and our sin separates us from God. But God wasn't okay with that. He loves us way too much to be away from us. So he sent his son Jesus to take all of our sin away. And that is why we worship him today. Let's pray. God, thank you for hearing my prayers and for helping me. I know that you will protect me. Help me to follow you and not follow what other people are doing. Help me to live a life that is all about pleasing you. I love you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.